Breaking news now. Governor Dan McKee says he is thrilled Sabina Matos will be Rhode Island's new lieutenant governor. The full Senate confirmed her a short time ago. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt was there for the vote and joins us live from the campus of Rick, where the Senate has been meeting during the pandemic. Rob? Shannon, Sabina Matos stood up before the Senate thanking them for their vote and let them know that she looks forward to working with them to find out the issues going on in their districts. The full Senate voted unanimously 34 to 0 to confirm Matos, her husband and kids by her side watching in the audience. Matos is the first person of color and only the second woman to serve as the state's second in command. The 47 year old has been serving as president of the Providence City Council since 2019. Our cameras were at the State House earlier today, showing Matos' name already on the door of her new office prior to the Senate's vote. A press release was sent out just about an hour ago after the confirmation, saying that Matos will be sworn in as a 70th lieutenant governor tomorrow morning in the stateroom of the State House. It's not lost on me that this is a historic moment, and I also, the weight of the office and the challenge that is presented to me. I promise all of you to work really hard to make you proud of this vote, of this decision. Matos will now have to resign from her position as Providence City Council President. It's unclear when she plans on doing that, but according to the Providence City Council agenda posted online, there will be a special meeting held tonight at 7 p.m. to pick her replacement. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.